Hello. So this is the rune reading for the Collective Unconscious for this week. Uh, from the 16th of November to the 23rd of November 2022. And let's get on with it. So the rune for what has already been gone, meaning the past, is this. Algiz. Now, I feel for me that I've been kind of going upwards in a sense, and as you can see, Algiz is going upwards. That things are looking more up from from um, things are basically looking more up in terms of looking into how they've been in the past week. For example, things have been looking up for me, and it seems like things are almost like there's some sort of like ascension in a sense but maybe a ascension on a smaller scale not like you know obviously ascension takes over time and and it doesn't come in like overnight but there's been some sort of like ascending factor in the last week I think in terms of um integration of my own like uh parts of myself I would say and I think that's a feeling I'm getting on the collective unconscious. Kind of like a um, closer connection to the what you'd call the higher self, or the Thilja, or the the energy of the Thilja, which is the Hamingya. So that's what I've been getting for this part, like, from the week as what has already gone, uh, meaning the past. And so what is basically becoming is Thehu, now, Therhu is an indication of wealth, and I think at in in the um, in the present time, what we're in now, I think that we're going to be experiencing uh, great wealth in some form. Whether this will be wealth of wisdom, wealth of knowledge, uh, or maybe something a bit more mundane like physical wealth uh, coming in somehow think that that's the present we're moving into now, the um, present moment of gaining wealth in some form. So whatever that form of wealth takes on uh, for the collective unconscious, that will be uh, probably different for different individuals, I imagine. And for a potential future is Degas. So Degas represents kind of like the, you could say a dawning of a new day in a sense, uh, the, so I'm getting from this one, it's more like there's a new horizon up ahead and I think there's going to be a lot of changes in that, in that sense. Uh, if I've like select another rune now, I can make more sense of this in combining another rune and seeing what comes. So we got along with Degas, we also got Ingwas. And Ingwas represents the god Frey. So, yet again, prosperity, fertility, uh, and I mean a fertility of a spiritual kind of nature, but also prosperity of a certain nature as well. So it could be a new day of prosperity. So, as I'm summing this all up, in the past we've been ascending to a new level. In the present, we are gaining great wealth of some form, whether it's spiritual or material. And as a potential future, it is going to be, I'm guessing from this, it will be a new day of some form of prosperity coming forward.
So it kind of looks like things are looking up for in, in terms of uh, the, the near future. And it looks like this one is actually looking more like a quite positive reading I'm getting. So I'm looking, so for the week ahead, it's going to be, I think, a more positive one, meaning that basic, but there will be like changes as well with that, meaning that, that there will be changes on the horizon. But it looks like it's going to bring a certain amount of wealth or prosperity to the collective unconscious in general. And to the individuals that are in, in line with that un, with the collective unconscious. So that seems what it's um, saying here. Uh, that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, if you want to actually have a rune reading, a personal one, you can go to my website, www.valkanai.com falconeye.coven.com and I'll put that in the link below uh, if you want your own rune reading. Uh, also do classes on there for Saver and Galder as well so if you're interested in that uh, I'll also advise you to look into that as well and that's all I've got to say for this week regarding the rune reading and I will we'll see you next week for the next one. Uh, Bye.